And I think we are recording. Yes, well, hello, kids. Today we are going to be doing Chapter 1, Lesson 2, and it is about um, ratios. We are on page 19. All right. In the real world link, it says dogs. In her dog walking business, Mrs. DeCarbo, I don't know if I said that right, walks two large dogs and eight small dogs. Compare the number of small dogs to large dogs. Okay, we're not going to take time to get yellow counters, but we have um, eight large, or excuse me, eight small. We have two large dogs. If we had time, I would let you go ahead and draw the dogs and things, but we don't have time to do that. All right. It says there are blank more small dogs than large dogs. Well, the answer is six. Two plus six is eight. Two times four is eight. There are four times as many small dogs as large dogs. Eight minus six is two. There are six fewer large dogs than small dogs. You're thinking this is like first grade stuff. Eight divided by four is two. Well, it is pretty easy. We're talking about comparing numbers. It says the number of large dogs is blank the number of small dogs. It is one fourth. Okay, now let's turn to page 20 in your book and we're going to talk about how to write a ratio in simplest form. Boys and girls, there are three ways to write ratios. The TO, the dot dot, which is a colon, and a fraction. It says there are many different ways to compare the amounts or quantities. A ratio is just a comparison of two quantities by division. A ratio of two red paper clips to six blue paper clips can be written three ways. And those are the three ways. TO, the colon, and the fraction. As with fractions, ratios are often expressed in simplest form, and we're going to practice that today, putting things in simplest form. All right, so this is what example one is about, putting things in simplest form. Okay, so when you have a fraction, you want to look for the greatest common factor between the two numbers. If it has a greatest common factor, it can be simplified. So you say, hmm, what will divide a 2 and a 6? 2. When they're even numbers, you know that 2 divides all the even numbers, right? Even numbers are the numbers that end with a 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. 6 divided by 2 is 3. All right, class, let's go ahead and do example A. It says, write the ratio in simplest form that compares the number of suns to the number of moons. Now it's important. Suns will be on top, moons will be on bottom. So I'm wanting suns and moons. Sometimes you can use letters if you can't remember what's to go on top and what's to go on bottom. Four suns, six moons. Now that will simplify. What will divide a four and a six? What's its greatest common factor? Yes. 2. And 4 divided by 2 is 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So we have 2 thirds. Any questions? Let's go on. Page 21. On this one it says use ratios to compare category, categorical data. Each piece of categorical data can be assigned to one group. Bar diagrams or tape diagrams and frequency tables can be used to represent categorical data. Ratios can be used to compare the data. Now kids, if you are using your ebook, you can click on this and it has like a little video and if you click on the tutor, the book will do a little tutoring session for you if you need help. So if you are at home and you don't know how to do this or you need extra help, you can click on those and they will help you, okay? Now, since I'm not using my ebook, I can't click on them, and you have a real teacher. So let's just keep on going. Number two, several students name their favorite flavor of gum. 
peppermint, cinnamon, fruit, and spearmint. Write the ratio that compares the number who choose fruit to the total number of students. So, how many chose fruit? Three. Total? Well, you had to add them all together. So I'm going to add my another category, and it's going to be called total. So when I add them all together, it's 21. So, we have 3 over 21. The greatest common factor of 3 and 21 is 3. You divide them both by 3, and you get, end up with a simplified fraction of 1 7th. Any questions? All right, let's do number three. In number three, um, it says Monday's yogurt sales are recorded in the table. Write the ratio that compares the sales of strawberry yogurt to the total sales. Then explain its meaning. meaning. Strawberry, put an eight. Total, three plus six plus seven plus eight, and that equals 24. Now, strawberry yogurt sold, 8. Total sold, 24. Now, we are going to simplify it in this step. What will divide an 8 and a 24? What's its greatest common factor? Yes. Uh, 3 won't divide 8, but you've already simplified it in your brain. Yes. Uh, it's bigger than a 4. It's actually 8. 8 divides 8 and 8 divides 24. And then we'll see how we got the 3. 8 divided by 8 is 1. 24 divided by 8 is 3. So we get the fraction 1 third or 1 to 3. Or the other way, you could write it as 1 dot dot 3. Okay? The three ways to write a ratio. Fraction, T-O, dot, dot. All right, I'm just going to circle the three ways. Okay, now let's do letter B. Um, oh, we forgot to answer this part. So, one out of every three yogurt cups sold were strawberry. Part B, a pet store sold the animals listed in the table. Uh, write the ratio of cats to pets sold that week, then explain its meaning. Okay, so cats will be on top, and we need our total, don't we? Total. Add them all together. So we have 8 over 32. That will simplify. What will 8 over 32 simplify to? What's the greatest common factor? It's not 2. It's not 4. Yes, 8. Divide it by 8. Divide it by 8. 1 fourth. 1 out of 4 pets sold were cats. One out of every pet sold at the store was a cat. Okay? Let's go to the next page. Once again, if you're listening to this, you can always pause my video and get caught up. All right, problem number four. In number four, example four, Kayla wants to divide her 30 flowers into two groups so that the ratio is two to three. It says step one, use a bar diagram to show a ratio. All right, so if we have two sixes here and three sixes there, it equals 30 flowers, okay? There are five equal sections, so each section represents 30 divided by five or six flowers. It says there are 12 flowers in one group and 18 in the other group. All right, now let's do the guided practice together, and then I will tell you what your homework is going to be. It says, write each ratio as a fraction in simplest form. Pens to pencils. Okay, so pens have to go first. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's going to be six. And how many pencils? 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now that will simplify. What will divide a six and an eight? Sophie? Two. two. Yeah, six divided by two is three. Eight divided by two is four. The answer is three fourths. Three out of four, uh, you have three pens to every four pencils. Okay, here we have pennies and dimes. So pennies has to be on top. Three and dimes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three over nine. We have to simplify three nines. What will divide three and nine? Aiden? Three. Three. Three divided by three is one. Nine divided by three is three. The answer is one third. One penny to three dimes. Okay? Now, problem number three. Last month, Ed ate nine apples, five bananas, four peaches, and seven oranges. Find the ratio of bananas to the total number of fruit. Then explain its meaning. Well, in this problem, bananas. You have five bananas, and we have five. We have to add them all together. Nine plus five is fourteen. Plus four is eighteen. Plus seven is what? Twenty-five. Yeah. Five out of twenty-five, and that simplifies to one fifth. What does that mean? Let's write it out in words on this one because when it says explain the meaning, one out of five pieces of fruit are bananas. Okay. Number four. Divide 28 cans of soda into two groups. So the ratio is three-fourths. Okay. Okay, it's got to equal 28. It's 12 over 16. 12 plus 16 is 28. Those are sort of hard um, because you just sort of have to guess on those. It's like, all right, I got to make sure three times. I knew it wasn't going to be 9 over uh, 12 because 9 plus 12 isn't big enough. Because I thought, well, 3 times 3, so 3 times 4 is 12. 4 times 4 is 16. 12 plus 16 is 28. All right, now, what are we going to do for homework today? I have planned for you to do on page 23. Let's go look at page 23. Do all 1 to 6. So let's write all. You're going to do all of this page. Page 23. And then on page 24, you have to do problem number 7. Whenever there is a house, those are important problems. So you have to do both parts of 7. A and B. And then on the last page. Did I not tear that page out? I don't think I did. On the last page, it is page number 25. I would like for you, let's see, here's page 25. Do number 12. Let's do 13 and 14. Okay? That's not too many problems. I think you have a total of 10 problems. All right, so get going. You have about 10 minutes, a little less than 10 minutes to do your homework.